Um, so that's like the whole XRP thing, mm -hmm. and and there 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 is like a whole like philo like we can get into this, into the that's that's more of a darker side of it. Like and then the other part about these professor coins is that they use all these all all these connections and all these high fluting things and all this and this mm -hmm. to not talk about price performance. Mm -hmm. And one thing why I really liked Hex is because we never beat around the bush. It's like, oh, fuck, the coin's going down right now, but hey, we think it's a good price. We always talk about the price because why did people get into crypto? For money. Of course. Oh, of yeah. course. And But there's this whole thing in crypto where like they, they want to not talk about that because they're not performing. Mm -hmm. But but no, they don't want to have a serious conversation of why are they not performing right now. Mm -hmm. And and Hex has always put that mirror to its face and been like, yeah, we're just not performing right now because there's a big whale selling right now, or like, wow, there's a big whale buying up right now, or like the commu the movies a movie's coming out, or Pulse Chain's going to launch and that's going to pump. Like we were, we've always been very real about that, and that's one one thing that I really appreciate about the Hex community mm -hmm. is that whether good news or bad news, we're very real about ourselves. And mm -hmm. then we talk about what's really happening to us right now, mm -hmm. where a lot of coins, they'll use, they'll, they'll, they'll just jingle the keys this way to keep you distracted while their price performance is going like this. Or the founders of these coins, like 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 one Bitcoin, um, the ch chain link, it's used everywhere in crypto, but the founders of this coin were market dumping it for fucking years until finally they said, they just recently said in the last six months, we're going to stop selling the coins now, finally. Because mm -hmm. we've now sold enough coins that we have a nice big war chest that, and that we've now opened offices all over the world and stuff and now we can grow ourselves into the next thing and stuff. And some people would say, oh, that's you're hating me. Oh, well, you, to the it would have been really nice for that disclosure to all the other people who bought Chainlink and stuff like these. There's there tons of people that held Chainlink from 2020. Mm. Didn't, 2020 was an amazing year. 2021... Failure, 2022 failure. Mm. I mean, two years of, they basically missed half of the bull market because they were just holding on to this thing and it wasn't doing, it didn't do multiples anymore. Mm -hmm. So it, you, you just had a bunch of people just buying in, trying to hold the price up. Basically, while these it's guys like all playing, you know, I tell you, it's like playing fantasy football, and you get these star players, and then yeah. like one gets an injury, and you got to yeah. find somebody else to put in for your, for your star running back or whatever. Like I play fantasy football. Thank you very much. I know people. Are like, oh yeah, I can't believe Rollo plays. And they, yeah, I do. Sorry, right. uh, I'm not sorry. Um, I'm not sorry. Either. Well, but I mean, it's it's I mean, it's similar. It's like you you think you got some really good star player that's going to be, and then suddenly he's on injured reserve or like he's yeah. he just is underperforming, and then you've got like guys that were just sort of like oh, I'll pick him up if I can, and then yeah. that was the one that actually sort of takes off, and you you yeah. don't realize that you didn't think they were, but you were going to pick it right. up too. I I kind of like at least I mean maybe that's the wrong analogy I should be using, but like that's kind of like how I see my like my setup with my my crypto right now. 